Welcome to News West 9's Uniquely West Texas series, where we bring some of West Texas attractions and history to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Crystal Cruz. And I'm Alex Camerata. Tonight, you'll be able to learn a little more about this place that we call home. Crystal, I'm excited to see what's in store for us tonight. Just where are we headed this time? All right. Well, Alex, last week we visited the heart of West Texas. That was in Fort Stockton. Today, we're actually going to be taking a trip southwest. And located in the high plains of the Chihuahuan Desert, right between the Davis Mountains of Big Bend National Park. You're going to see it. Yeah, we're talking, of course, about Marfa. That's right, folks. We'll be showing you everything that Marfa has to offer tonight from some of the most beautiful sites in this city, places to grab a drink and grub. And you'll even hear one local story on how the city changed a man's life. Crystal, I'm ready to drive down into Marfa to see what makes it so unique and even hear some of the history behind that magical town. Yeah, Alex, by the end of the night, we might just be booking our next, tri next trip to Marfa. So where's a good place to stay? I'm glad you asked, Crystal. Our very own Jolina Okazaki was actually able to visit one of the city's most well-known hotels that has a Hollywood background to its name. Jolina? Yeah, that's right. We are here at the Hotel Paisano in Marfa, and this is one of their most popular hotels. That's because if you've ever seen the movie Giant, then you would know some of the biggest Hollywood stars stayed here, and it was for about six weeks in the summer of 1955, so there's a lot of history inside. Take a look. Out in West Texas, right off Highway 90, was a spot home to the Riata Ranch. But now, the only thing you'll see out there are big pieces of plywood of Leslie and Big Benedict and Jet Rink, along with the Riata Mansion, which of course was never a real mansion, but this was and still is. Ah, okay, ready? Joe Duncan bought the Hotel Paisano in 2001. Located in downtown Marfa, this was one of the few hotels that were built in 1930. So these hotels were strategically situated at these crossroads to the national parks, but they were all developed by the Gateway Hotel Company for future tourism. And tourism sure boomed shortly after three Hollywood heartthrobs would make their way to West Texas. Just outside of town, a popular film was being shot. Warner Brothers came to town in 1955 to film the movie Giant, a now classic movie. Uh, the National Movie of Texas, some people call it. Stepping into the Hotel Paisano is like stepping into the past. Everything is kept to look original. Is it important for you to keep it that way? It is, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You know, we don't want to change anything. We don't want to lower the ceilings. We don't want to, to, to do anything. It keeps the charm. It keeps the charm, the historic charm of what it's always looked like. So what you see here is how it looked when the hotel first opened and when the cast first walked in. James Dean blew into town and just fell down the couch and went to, took a nap, went to sleep. <laughs> and the desk clerk, everybody was like, I think that's James Dean over there. The hotel has 42 rooms. Each one has its own character. This is probably the one room that gets requested the most. That's because this is the James Dean room, and this is the room that James Dean once stayed in, and he wasn't the only one. In fact, there were also the crew members as well. Even the cast members were talking Elizabeth Taylor, Rock Hudson, and Dennis Hopper, and you could book their rooms too. The other side of the building holds space for art exhibits, souvenir shops, and if you want cool merch from the film, there's a little shop dedicated to all things giant. You'll even see some pieces from the actual set, including the original wood that holds signed photographs of the stars. And they're all signed to the lady, M. Allen, that owned the hotel at the time. She got to be very close with, with them all. Unfortunately, this would be James Dean's last film after he died in a car crash just weeks later and never had the chance to see the movie. Just keep what she gave me. I'm sentimental too. And for Hotel Paisano, giant is a sentimental chapter of history. Everybody in Marfa came to the Paisano to take pictures of them. Because after 68 years, for a small town in West Texas, there is always a giant piece of Hollywood that continues to live behind these walls. So I think one of the big takeaways is that they really work hard to keep this hotel as pristine and as original looking as possible as it did back in the 50s. And they do a great job at doing that. And we've talked about tourism in the area. It's constantly booming here in West Texas. And it's thanks to hotels like these that keep it so original and unique to West Texas. Back to you guys. 
Well, if you want to hear more about Hotel Paisano, we have an extended version of the story. Just visit our website, newswest9.com. And Alex, I have to say that's really unique that the owner has actually kept everything in the same shape as it was 68 years ago. That's right. Not only that, but to be able to stay in the same room as James Dean and Elizabeth Taylor, I mean, how do you not want to go there and see it? Yeah, how do you not? Well, here's a really cool fun fact about the movie Giant. Since it was a Western drama, all of the actors needed to really embrace the Texas lifestyle. So, believe it or not, Warner Brothers actually hired a true Texas cowboy to show up and show everyone how to walk the walk the Texas way. I mean, this is incredible. Like, that's some stuff that you really wouldn't realize until Jolena doing the story there and then bringing it to everybody here tonight. It's amazing. Yeah, I wonder if they taught him how to lasso. And <laughs> Probably. Yeah, hey, everything Mosey. Texas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, we're just getting started here, folks, bringing you all things Marfa tonight. Coming up after the break, we'll keep it rolling, taking you to a spot that puts Marfa right on the map. Stick around. Uniquely West Texas, everyone. So far, we've shown you the ins and outs of Marfa's famous Paisano Hotel, where big stars like James Dean, Elizabeth Taylor, and many others stayed during their time filming the iconic movie Giant. Well, what's so unique about the hotel is that once you walk in, it's like you're going back in time to the 1950s. The interior design is the exact same as it was back then, not to mention being able to stay in the same rooms where the big celebrity stayed in. It really is a great way to preserve history and, of course, bring folks in from all over Texas and the country, too. Yeah, and Crystal, speaking of preserving history, there's another spot in Marfa that does just that, but with a little twist. What was once a warehouse used in World War I is now home to one distillery that puts the city on the map. Tyler Dupnik is joining us tonight to tell you more about how one drink brings in not only Marfa locals, but folks from all over the country. Is that right, Tyler? Yeah, that's right. I'm here at Marfa Spirit Company, a bar and distillery that serves alcohol unique to the region and a historic building ready to give you quite the experience. At Marfa Spirit Company... It is extremely magical. The magic is created by unique booze that does more than excite your taste buds. Laura McShann is the bar and event manager, and she's also a So Tall fanatic. I think there's something really like mystical about So Tall. Like, I, it, you just the potency and the rawness of it is, it's just really, really unique. Like, it feels very like earthy and natural and just. Special. While Marfa Spirit doesn't make so tall, they distill it, bottle it for distribution, and serve it, along with other unique options. We've worked hard to utilize a lot of local ingredients coupled alongside these spirits to have a really seasonal menu and have something that challenges our bartenders, but also like our guests, because you know we're a tourist-heavy spot, but you're nothing without the people in the community. So it's important to us to have something fresh and awesome for everyone to enjoy and like keep coming back into the space as well. The space includes army writings from a century ago and the logo of a former feed store. Now, these seats will fill up like a drink, with that drink attracting a wide range of people. But a lot of Austin, Dallas, um, I've had people as far as Vermont road tripping down here, um, a lot of van lifers, a lot of Airstream people. Um, and like our demographic as far as travelers go is really broad. And I see a lot of really cool interactions happening across the bar top between, you know, ranchers who've been here for decades um, with the tourists telling them a story that they would never have heard before. And it's those interactions and conversations and experiences that are all created by bottles of booze at a unique place. This is an army warehouse, you know, it is so unique. And we're selling drinks and liquors and making a product that is wildly unique, you know. It represents this, this area, you know. Here, Marfa, you can only work with what you have. Um, nothing is easy and if what you're serving ends up being something that represents this region, like how can you not be unique, you know? Now, Marfa Spirit is a cultural fit that, as you heard, brings people from all around, truly showcasing how it is uniquely West Texas. 
Well, by the way, if you really want to get into the Marfa spirit, and by that I mean really dive into the history and science behind the distillery, check this out. You can actually book a private tasting tour in Marfa Spirit's tap room. That's in the historic renovated Godbold feed mill. Not only will you get it to taste its famous Chihuahuan Desert So Tall, but also other beverages like their own gin and vodka. And if you're feeling a little fruity, <laughs> they even have a Rio Grande orange and grapefruit liqueur. If you're looking to lounge around, you can also sit back and relax in their bar area. And yeah, not quite sure what's a better deal than that right there. And not only will you be able to learn more about the history of it all, but actually taste it too. In fact, their Chihuahuan Desert So Tall 80 and 90 proof comes all the way from Llanos Chihuahua in Mexico. That's where they work with a Sotolero who harvests, roasts and ferments the Sotol plant, then transports the juice right to Marfa to get distilled and bottled all up. I mean, how well, about Alex, I guess you could say you're getting a, a taste of both worlds, right. aren't you? Well, coming up after the break is a story you won't want to miss as well to get to hear how one local's passion for art brought him to a place that would help him grow. back to our Uniquely West Texas series where we've been showing you all things to see in Marfa tonight. Crystal, this town clearly has so much to offer and it really does a great job of bringing in people from just all over the country. Well, hey, you have the Hotel Paisano where some of the best actors of the 50s stayed. Marfa Spirits that sells a unique alcoholic drink that's not sold in stores. Not to mention that Marfa is also home to many, many forms of art. That's right. Like you saw earlier in Jolina's story on the movie Giant, in Marfa, they actually have a plywood display of some of the characters and props that were used on set. And hey, speaking of displays, there's even a pop-up Prada store in town. And no, folks, that's not to shop at. But of course, you want to go ahead and take pictures. That's all right, too. Yeah, just by cruising down the street. So come across beautiful handmade art murals like this one called Pages from the Marfa Storybook, which was commissioned by the Blackwell School Alliance. And clearly Marfa is home to many pieces of art and museums. One local made it their mission to protect, perfect the art of pottery, bringing them all the way to West Texas where their passions were able to grow into something more than just sculpting. Jason Freund, he brings you exactly that story tonight. Marfa is filled with art pieces, all pretty to look at. But Roberto Dobson is interested in a different, more practical type of art, one that he perfected after years of hard work. This work is what's called functional art tableware. It's, it's work that you actually use, you know, it's cups, bowls. If you buy a piece of this, then you, you will use it. You're not going to just hang it on the wall or put it on the shelf. A successful dentist, Roberto and his wife sold the practice to pursue other dreams. So they moved to Alpine to attend Sol Ross University, which is where a mutual love for ceramics was discovered. The first class that my wife took at Sol Ross was ceramics, and she fell in love with ceramics. And about a year later, I asked her if I could take a class, and she said, yeah, you can take a class, but you have to stay up there at the school. But Sol Ross didn't have all the classes that they needed, so they went international, honing their crafts in places like Alberta and Japan. We actually did that four times, went to Japan, because uh, we were just intrigued by the, the culture and the type of ceramics they were producing over there. Roberto and his wife traveled the world taking classes, and he eventually settled down in Marfa, where his studio is now. About eight years ago, we actually moved our studio from Alpine to Marfa, because Marfa was, is where our, our uh, sales are. That's where the market is for this work. And so uh, we're very happy to have a first-class ceramic studio here in Marfa. Marfa has become a base of operations where he can sell his creations, and there are plenty of galleries to sell from in the town. And it's a town that he's going to stay in for quite some time after years of traveling the globe and perfecting his style. How great is that to hear how one man's passion drove him all the way here to West Texas 
and to see that now he has his own flourishing studio. It is amazing, Crystal. It truly is the magic here in West Texas that makes stories like that, in fact, so true. And Jason was actually able to talk to Dobson one on one to hear more about the inspiration behind all of his art. Let's take a look at that. In Marfa Garza right now, another art studio that sells a lot of art here in the city of Marfa. And I'm here with Roberto Dobson, who has been a potterer for quite some time now. So, sir, just tell me, how long have you been doing pottery for? About 20 years. And about 10 years, seriously. Yeah. Well, it looks like we had some technical difficulties there with uh, Jason's story, but Dobson would go on to say that he enjoys doing what he does, and that's what it's all about doing, right? Yeah. Wanted to do what you love. How many people get to say that? He's been doing it for over 20 years, so hopefully we maybe can come back to that, but that is what it's all about right there. Yeah, pretty incredible story you're telling me. Let's take a look back at some of the work he's done and look at the detail and the shape of the vases and even the texture of it. Yeah, I'm with you, Crystal. And folks, it's almost time to wrap things up here for our Uniquely West Texas series. Stay with us, though, because after the break, Dan's got a full forecast for you. And then be sure to stick around after that. We give you one sneak peek at just where we're headed next. Stay with us. toured the Paisano Hotel and learned a lot about the behind scenes of the Western movie Giant that was filmed in Marfa. Yeah, right. Not to mention getting a taste of Marfa spirits and even hearing how the distillery made its one-of-a-kind Chihuahua so tall. That's right, Alex. And we were also able to dive into the city's arts and check out Marfa Garza where Roberto Dobson sells his artwork. Now, Alex, I've got to say it's been really exciting to learn about some of these unique hidden gems here in West Texas. This has me excited for what we're in store for for next week. Yes, we are back on the road next week, heading to our final stop on the uniquely West Texas tour. We're going to be in Fort Davis, folks. It's home to one of the largest telescopes, not only in Texas, but in the world. It's also the site of the historic Fort Davis, of course, which gives its name. So make sure you come on back next Friday right here on News West 9. It's going to start at 630. Crystal, we're back on the bus. We are, and as always, if you want to go back and watch the episodes of Uniquely West Texas, be sure to check out our News West 9 website and our 9 Plus app. You can get that on Roku and Fire Stick. Hey, thanks so much for being with us tonight. We will see you next week in Fort Davis. Thanks for watching.